What is up guys, Wolfhound22 here, back with another episode of Lifeless Planet. Woo! Last night, last night, wait, 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 wait. So, last time we played, we found the store, and we went through the store. Uh, we also got through a big glitch that we experienced, that almost made me quit the game. And I'd say snap the disc in half, but... There's no disc, so, yeah. But anyways, hopefully no more issues there. But we are good to go, so let's go ahead and continue. I'm not sure how long this game is supposed to be. I've heard somewhere in the neighborhood of like maybe five or six hours. So I'm going to guess we're maybe approaching halfway. A little bit more. I mean, that glitch kind of set us back a little bit, but I think we're probably somewhere around the two to three hour mark. They're running out. Stop talking. Ooh, no! What in the world? Hey, get away from him. He's like the most, like, blase guy. Like, what? What is that? Get away. Like, seriously, you guys impaled over here. Like, you could have been freaking out a little bit more. Jesus. That seems like kind of a little overboard. Maybe he didn't see from that distance. Okay, anyways. Crew confirmed dead. Both my crewmates are now confirmed dead. It seems this planet is not lifeless after all. A deadly life form lingers below the surface of the planet. The woman seems to avoid their traps somehow. I will try to use this to my advantage. Follow her tracks as best as possible. Okay. What is that thing? Alright, let's rock and roll. Oh, so if I don't follow her tracks, my guess is I will die. Let's test it out. I'm not touching the tracks. Ooh. I mean, this is for science, right? For science! <laughs> well then, I mean, there is a trophy for dying every single way, and as I've mentioned on other Let's Play videos, I can be a little bit of a trophy snob and want to get them all. So, yeah. I will see what I can do. So. Interesting, I was just very... Boom, dead. <laughs> Jump. Jump. Oh boy. Jump. I wonder if we'll find out what that thing is. Oh no, 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 no! Everything's bad. Oh god. Okay. Slice. Epic music! Oh. Columnar Bossel. Located, located a vast field of column, columnar Bossel. These natural formations appear similar to those on Earth, but at a far grander scale than any terrestrial occurrence I'm aware of. I have to assume they formed, man that music is loud. I have to assume they formed in a similar fashion to basalt columns on my home planet via the slow cooling of huge lava flows. As the hot substance cools into new rocks, it contracts, it, it contracts, sending deep cracks into the surface. It, geometric patterns, <clears throat> surface and geometric patterns. Once these cracks go deep enough, they result in towering columns of rock. Alrighty, I think I have my headphones just turned too loud. Man, that music was like overpowering. Okay, hopefully it doesn't affect the sound quality too much in the video. I record the videos in my voice at the same time, so I can't edit, unfortunately. I can see what I can do if it's too bad. So anyways, moving on. Drop. Oh. you. Shiny. The tracks are my... Yeah. ...biological reaction with the soil. 
attracts my guide, a delicate female footprint offering my, me several comfort as I press on into the unknown. Strangely, it's not always effective. I seem to lose the tracks in rocky areas of which there are plenty. In the right light, though, I can see where they can they pick up again to continue my journey. An analysis of the soil at the point of contact suggests that there is something organic reacting to the person, or the thing, whatever she is, making the tracks. The faded glows, haunting, unsettling marks on the earth that make me recall nuclear propaganda films. I'm trying not to worry about the idea that with every step my body is being irradiated beyond repair. There's a trophy for traversing without following her footprints, so I'm curious if this is where she's traversing a dangerous area without following footprints. So I'm gonna see if I can that's what this is. I don't know what that would mean. And I just think I just have to just not hit the big dangerous spikes, right? There's, there's not like a whole lot of like divergent paths in the game, so. Oh boy. I'm on, I'm on better. Mm, I don't think that bad. Geronimo! I really miss my great jetpack. I wish it would come back. Did I ever go that way or did I come from that way? I guess I gotta go this way. Oh, no, I'm dead. Oh. It's kind of weird because I have no rhyme or reason sometimes on how hard you hit. You ain't so bad. You ain't so bad. Roots. I've taken a sample from one of the root species. My field observation tools are not of much use, but from what I can tell, the creatures are a carbon-based life form. However, their cellular structure is completely unique. There is very little specialization between cells, and yet the cells appear to be far larger and vastly more complex than those of terrestrial animals, including humans. Okay. Let's go. Probably nothing. Perhaps that is the way you're supposed to go that you don't follow the footprints? Okay, let's try it now. I'm gonna go this way. So let me just. Right? Right? Alright, let's do it. Uh, perhaps I already followed them. And that'll like, avoid the trophy. Trophy pop. Trophy pop. Come on, trophy. Ah. Uh, no, perhaps not. Worth a try. Tricky game, you. Tricky, tricky game. Not really that tricky, but. So 
Well, I wonder why we haven't seen that plant up to this point. Tornado! Uh, I can feed you your killer tornado puzzle. Nope. Badlands. How did I get it? How did I get here? You are low on auction. Oh no, fine auction supply. Oh no. It's a good thing I just happened to be near a place for auction. And no killer plants. I gotta find oxygen. Don't worry. It's right here. <laughs> wow, that is convenient. Oxygen tank field. Alright, so let's find out where the next place I have to go is. You see footprints. Have you used the footprints? They kind of look like footprints. Getting dark. I think it's come out at night on this planet. Mm -hmm. Oh, music's playing, so I must be on the right way. Giant sea. The latest shipment from home arrived today. Men, food, and copper. But it was all lost. They appeared in an explosion of bright lights in the thundercloud. Ashes ashes of their remnant, rem remnants fading off on the wind. A horrible sight. The ground surrounding their arrival is but a rock, which is quickly becoming... Oh boy. Oh, wait, that's good. Quickly becoming com commonplace. It seems as though the more green fire that is... Oh, it's going to look sick. Green fire that is lost to our electrical production, the less I recognize the landscape. But this is merely a test. Our people face a long history of trials and difficult choices, and we understand anguish. And we understand anguish better than any culture. In the end, we always emerge stronger and wiser than before. It will be no different here. It can be no different here. I will, I will rally the scientists together. Somehow we must return home. Our rations run low, the children look hungry, but we will prevail. Even if I must return to Mother Russia and retrieve the supplies myself. Getting dire. Should I test it? That runs well for me. <laughs> I mean, you never know until you try, right? I'll get back to the giant sea again. Oh, there's a little. Oh, if I can go up there. There we go. Let's watch this go. Giant sea, and I will follow you this way. Perhaps if I just took a few extra minutes and looked around, I could figure out where I'd go without dying. I picked up her tracks again, setting aside the mystery of how she is able to survive out here. I still don't know if I can trust her. Her trail, trail appears to lead me away from danger, but maybe that's just because she's looking for, out for herself. One thing is certain, she doesn't want me to follow her, and that's exactly why I have to follow. It's time for some answers. Is that exactly why you have to follow I wonder if I can, can I jump. Oh. Oop, I just got sucked on the ground. <laughs> so, I can't jump over top of it. Get you know. Oh, 
but now I think like this. Oh yeah, I got the hops. Hops with a jetpack. Still hops. This is pointless, I can't understand you. It's never gonna end well for me. She doesn't seem like she likes me very much. Is there anything this way? This way, this way. Ooh. Who are you? Yay, then a roll. Yellow quartz, ooh, one of five. Verdi's striking example of yellow colored quartz. All the silicone could be put to good use. If only this planet could be tamed. Yeah. Famous last words. Can't tame the planet. Especially one that's trying to kill you. Okay, let's rock and roll. Now I know I got four more horses to find and look around. That is a weird looking walk there. Okay. Oh no. I was thinking in well. Huh. I lied. It'll end just fine. Majestic brown. That's pretty nice. Dun, 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 dun. Get dark files. Let's find some more minerals. Oh no. Let's see. Oh, I can push this rock. Ha. Solve the puzzle. I mean, these aren't really puzzles, <laughs> but I'm still claiming it. I solved it. What are you gonna do? Don't jump! Hello? Hello? Alright guys! I'm gonna cut it here. Cliffhanger, literally hanging on the side of the cliff. Alright, so I'm gonna cut it here. I'm gonna go that other way. And she's probably not gonna be there by the time we get over there. But. Alright guys, well if you liked the video, smash that like button, please subscribe if you haven't yet, and share it with anybody you think that would enjoy that. Until next time, this is Wolfhound22, signing out! Woo!